Let's warm up. Tweaked my knee yesterday. Arm circles. I think it'll be all right in a few days. It's just tender today. Let's see how I can move. Twist. Yeah, good. Hips. Switch. Hugs. You know, doing this little warm up every day has been good for me. I like it. Just gives me a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Knees slightly bent, down the middle, hang. Slowly rock side to side. Good. Feet apart. Break the knees. Good. Kind of sound like a sprite. Walk back, stretch out down the middle or wherever you're tight. Left leg, right leg. Walking forward again. Hips to the floor. Walk it back. Walk it forward. Walk back. <coughs> Walk it forward. A lot of Stretch out over your knee. Switch. Switch.
switch 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 good grab the back of your hamstrings rock back and forth Good. Now rock back over one shoulder, push off the mat, come forward. Keep that rocking chair arch in your back. I guess it's not an arch, it's the opposite of an arch. Punch. Good. Now we're going to rock forward and straight. Hey, Leela. Hello. Rock. Lynn, I can't see you. Is that Leland or Ash? Rock. Hey, Lane, you're black on my screen. I don't know if other people are having issues. Yeah, I can't hear him either. I can't hear him or see him. I'm getting a similar issue. He looks like he's frozen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that too. Like it keeps freezing and then cuts to black and then keeps freezing. Yeah, I'm getting that. And then above it, it says his bandwidth as well. Uh -huh. Is that any better? I can hear you now. I can see, I can see you and hear you. All right. Ashley, can you hear me and see me? I can. Well, right now, it looks like the quality looks like it's good. And you don't have the bandwidth issue for now. Yeah. Switch to the closer router. Interrupter. Ashley, you're good? Yeah, I can see you now. And yeah, here you go. I can see you. All right. Um, so let's do our uh, sliding shrimps. Good, now let's do our power sprints. Three, 
Reverse strength back. Good. Let's do our shrimp and shrimp, pummel, shrimp, pummel, shrimp, pummel, get up, scoot back forward. Shrimp, pummel, shrimp, pummel, pummel, get up, arm forward. Good. Let's do our leg tumbling here. Switch directions. Let's do our leg twister. Good. Let's do our bridging. Up over the shoulder. Good. Now we're going to do our bridge. Here, our hips. Come up to your knees. Get on all fours. Should have posted the leg through. Bridge. Elbow to the floor. Come up. Knees. Sit through. Bridge. Elbow to the floor. Come up to your knees. One more. Bridge. Floor. Come up to your knees. And now we're going to do our bump. Our bump switch. Hooking with our right arm, hooking with our right leg. Pendulum. Head to the left, bump up, and over. Left arm, left leg hook, head pendulum right. Bump over, get through. Keep going, right? Left, left. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do our um, arm bar defense, our head bridge, right? So we're gonna bridge all the way up onto our head. Okay, if somebody's attacking my right arm, I'm gonna bridge up onto my head, I'm gonna walk over my left shoulder. And six. They're attacking the left arm. I'm bridging all the way onto my head, walking over my right shoulder. Right arm, left shoulder. Left arm, right shoulder. Very good. All right, let's stand in base. We're here, posting, elbow bent, standing up, foot behind. Good, now up just to your knee. Switch sides. Stand. Up to the knee.
Good. All right. Now we're going to do our uh, <coughs> sit outs. Okay. So we're going to start fully covered here like this. All right. I'm going to pop up. My opponent's on my left side. I'm posting my right leg, sitting through, and then turning and facing. And I go the other way. Left leg post, sit, turn and face. Right leg post, sit, face. Left leg, sit, face. Now I'm from all fours here, all right? The first position, our knees were tight, our toes are tucked, we're covering our neck and our hips so they can't put the hooks in. This time, maybe we shot a double leg or maybe we just scrambled into this position. I'm gonna hit my sit out right away. I don't need to cover up first. I feel like it's there. Post my right leg, sit through, turn it in. Post left leg, sit, turn in. Right leg, sit, left leg, sit. Okay, this time, all fours. Okay, I'm gonna sit through. Now I'm gonna sit, switch sides. Good. Good, good, good. This time I've got the single leg. I'm here, my head's on the inside of their body. I'm gonna post my left leg, roll my head out, sit through. Now I'm gonna pretend like my opponent's on the other side, okay? I'm hooked here, I post my right leg, my head rolls out, I sit through. Switch back, left leg post, head rolls out, I sit, right leg post, head rolls out. I sit. Good. All right. <clears throat> now I'm here, sight control. I'm gonna bump up, use that power bump, rotate in for an underhook. They still have shoulder pressure on my neck. So I'm gonna bump again to get my head inside their arm. Okay, I'm gonna switch my feet. Come up to that single. Now we're gonna do the same thing we just did, right? I'm gonna step out, roll my head outside. <coughs> Sit through. Lay back down the other side. Bump up, underhook, bump again to free my head. Switch my feet. I'm up on the single. Step out. Roll my head outside, sit through, back to the original side. Bump, underhook, bump, free my head, switch my feet, come up to that single, sit. One more. Bump, underhook, bump, free my head, switch my feet. Come up on that single, step, roll, the head, sit through. Good. All right, now let's work on our shoulder rolls, our different rolls, okay? We have the shoulder roll first, all right? If you remember, Armando, come here for a second. If you remember, the shoulder roll is applicable when somebody's on my side, okay, and they don't have a seatbelt grip, okay? See how Armando just has one hand on the waist, one hand on the arm? All right, I'm gonna post my outside leg. I'm gonna bring my left arm in this case over since he's on my left side. I'm gonna roll my hips toward his armpit, and then back into my guard. 
So without a partner, it'll look like this. I'm here, I'm posting, I'm rolling my head here, okay? From outside of my legs, going shoulder to shoulder roll to inside of my legs. All right, let's do it. Do it on both sides. Good, couple more times. All right, good. Now we're gonna do our Granby roll, okay? So this is when Armando's a little more attached to me. He's got a better grip and I just need to try to separate and face him. All right, so I'm here like this. Armando's on my side, he's got a body lock. Okay, I'm gonna post up. Now I need to hide this inside leg. So I'm gonna cross it over my other leg and now I'm gonna hit a shoulder roll from here to try to face him. Okay, so without a partner, looks like this. We're up, okay, my leg crosses over. Right, now I'm gonna tuck my head and roll. All right, let's go, let's do it, both sides. All right, good. Now we're gonna do that uh, leg attack from the rear, all right? So it's like a half shoulder, a half forward roll, okay? Note that he grabbed me, me from behind and I'm up, okay? I see a leg, I'm gonna attack, right? So if I'm gonna attack this leg, okay, I need to roll over my left shoulder in this case. All right, so I'm gonna drop my base, okay? I'm gonna reach, twirl my hand inside of his leg, and then I'm gonna roll. So we're here, and I'm rolling, okay? So usually they're gonna continue to try to hold on to the waist a little bit, right? So we're here, I'm down, I'm rolling, and that's usually what's gonna get them to fall, all right? If they let go of your weights and you roll and they're still standing up, that's okay. But most people aren't gonna just let go of your waist willingly. They're gonna be trying to keep you and sit you back or suplex you, right? Or trip you somehow to take you down. But if he does let go of my waist as I roll and he happens to stay up, I can immediately go into like my X guard game. Okay. So when you're doing this drill by yourself, I want you here. Okay. Reach. So in this case, if I reach with my left hand, I'm going to mock like I'm reaching toward my leg. Use your other hand to kind of break your fall and make sure you don't land on your neck. Here like this, rolling through. Okay. Let's do it.
Good. All right, let's do our scoots, alternating scoots. Alternate your hands. As you go back, alternate. Forward, alternate. Remember your hips are coming up off the floor. Okay, this time coming forward, alternate. And then back, we're gonna use two hands. I use that when I wanna move fast, only backwards, not two hands forward. Good. All right. You guys remember this drill where we roll over? If I roll over my right shoulder, my left foot goes to the floor and I sit like this. If I'm rolling over my left, my right goes to the floor and I'm retaining guard. Okay, so uh, Armando, come here real quick. If somebody's passing your guard and they're going north and south, go ahead, go all the way around, yep. I might build a frame here, right? Bring my knees in. I cross one knee over the shoulder, the opposite one over the head, and turn my body to face him. That's what this drill mimics. It's easier to do with a partner than it is on your own because you got to have the flexibility to touch the floor, but just do your best. If you can't touch the floor, try to use a wall, a couch, or a bed. So I'm rolling, foot is down, I'm here. I'm rolling. Put us down, I'm sitting through. Good, let's add to that. So if you remember in one of the first videos when we talked about the reverse shrimp, I showed the reverse shrimp for a couple different things. One was to get space, go ahead and get the side control here. One was like, if you couldn't bump and get your elbow escape going normally, I would reverse shrimp and then go into my elbow escape. Okay, that works very well. Sometimes the space is still tight. So we combine the reverse shrimp with this technique. Okay, a reverse shrimp to change the angle of my hips. I roll my hands under and I start to create a, a, a frame here with my forearms on his chest. I bring my legs up over and around. Same move we just did, right? Go ahead and move. Except for we're adding the reverse shrimp to change the angle a little bit. So I'm here, right? I'm hitting that reverse shrimp and then I'm rolling up over my shoulder, foot touches the ground and through. So let's try that. Just add the reverse shrimp in front of the move that we just did. <clears throat> Good. All right. Okay. So now if you remember, last week we worked on an inside leg stand up. So if Armando is behind me and I decide that I can't just simply roll into my guard or I can't full guard another way, I'm gonna stand up, try to break his grips and reface. And maybe I'm just more comfortable with the takedown game. So I just wanna get back to my feet and face him and maybe score some points taking him down. All right? So in this scenario, I'm gonna bring my inside leg up. If I bring my outside leg up, he hooks my leg and starts to take my back. Okay? I don't want that. So I'm gonna bring my inside leg up. I'm gonna bring my elbow to my hip, right? Now I'm gonna bring the other leg up. I'm gonna move forward, blocking my leg so he can't get a hook in and disrupting his grip. As soon as I get to the point where I can stuff his hand in my back pocket, I turn and face. One more time. I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm turning, stuffing the hand in the back pocket and turning and facing. So 
when I'm doing it on my own, it looks like this. Up, up, blocking, walking forward, stuffing that hand, turning. I'm constantly walking forward once I stand up. Okay, let's give it a shot. Good, good. All right. So one more thing uh, to add that we did last week, but first let's kind of talk about some of the different things we've done from turtle so far and how to escape and where they're applicable. Okay. So we talked a lot about the uh, front headlock position early on. Okay. We worked this front headlock position. His hands aren't quite like super locked up yet, right? This could be a front headlock or a body lock, right? If it's a body lock, I can choose which side to go to. If it's a front headlock, as long as his hands aren't locked, I can go to one side, okay? I'm gonna step, right? Throw my arm through, sit through. We already kind of did the drills for that, okay? We worked from the side position. We worked that Granby roll, right? And the shoulder roll where we retake the guard position. <coughs> All right. So now we're going to work on uh, if his hands are locked in the front headlock. This isn't the only way to get out. Um, I know there's some other good ways to get out of the position, but this is a way to get, these are basically ways to get to guard from the front headlock and the seatbelt position, which we haven't talked a lot about to this point, all right? So the first is the front headlock position, okay? So his right arm is across my neck. So I'm gonna step my left leg forward. I'm gonna bring my foot up off the mat and I'm gonna bring my head in a circular motion inside until I can sit back. Okay, so it looks something like this. His arm is across my neck like this, all right? On this side, I'm gonna post that leg, the leg on that side, which happens to be my left leg. Okay, my head is gonna come down as my foot swivels. My head comes down to the floor until it gets to my knee, and then I sit back. I'm not lifting my hips up and sliding them forward because I don't have enough space to. If I lift my hips up and slide him forward, he's gonna crunch my neck, I'm gonna get stuck here, okay? So I'm sitting my hips back. We're here, here, right, posting. Okay, head is drawing here. When my head gets about to my knee, I'm gonna sit back into my guard. All right, let's try that. Okay, good. Now let's go seat belt from side control or from a uh, side turtle. Okay, so I'm here. He's gotten in on a seat belt. All right, I'm gonna raise up my inside leg. Okay, I can put my shin on his hip to create more space. I'm gonna slide my outside leg through and get to the guard. Okay, so 
I'm here, right? I'm here almost like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, right? Pushing off that hip, sliding that inside leg through and sitting to my guard. Let's do that. So you're not so much like swinging the leg around, right? As you are just posting and sitting through. Okay, so it's very similar to the sit out position where we turn this way, except where we're falling to our back, right? That leg is against the hip. This knee just comes up, sits through like this, and I'm in my guard. Yep. Good. <clears throat> Good. Okay, one simple variation on that. If he's a little more toward my back and I don't feel like I have the angle and he's super tight to me, okay, I'm just going to swivel my feet out first. Swivel my feet, find the room to put my shin on the leg, right? And then I sit through to the guard. The only different, the only thing I'm doing different is just giving myself a little more room by windshield wiping my feet out and sitting through. Let's go. All right, let's move on to today's stuff. Um, we're gonna start talking about top position today. There's not as much to do from top position, not as many drills that we can do, but there are some very good ones, okay? Um, one is basic kind of standing up and guard, all right? So whether I have my hands on the hips or if I have double bicep control, one basic way to stand up that I like to show is shifting my weight. Like if I'm gonna lift my left leg, I'm gonna shift my weight to the right, post up on my left leg. Now from here, if I just try to stand, my chest is gonna come forward. He's gonna pull me back down into his guard, okay? So from here, instead of just standing and bringing my chest forward, I'm gonna windshield wipe my bottom leg out into a lunging position and then stand up. Okay, so if Armando comes here, right? If I'm here or here, I can do it from, but let's say if I just try to pull my leg up, that means my weight has to come forward to step my leg up. As soon as my weight comes forward, if he pulls his knees in or pulls my head forward, I'm gonna fall down on the mat. So I'm gonna shift my weight to the right. He's no threat to sweep me side to side until he opens his legs. So if his guard is closed, I can safely shift my weight to the right. Now when he goes to pull and I step, it doesn't matter, okay? Now again, if I try to just put my weight forward to take the weight off this leg and post it, and he pulls me down, I fall to the mat and I'm stuck, okay? So I'm gonna windshield wipe this back leg into a lunge position. Now when he pulls, 
I'm not going anywhere. I'm up and I'm here. All right. Make sure that when you stand up, your chest isn't in front of your knees. You can get elevated that way, roll over the top, all right, and easily use your balance. When I stand, I want my chest at or behind my hips, okay, depending on if I plan on kicking my feet out next or doing the matrix when he opens his legs, because his next move is going to be to chair sweep me, right? For now, here's what I want you to do. Shift your weight, post your foot. Swivel your feet, lunge up, turn, make sure your shoulders are at your hip level or behind. Let's go, keep going. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna add two variations onto it. Okay, good right here. So when I stand, if you're like this, okay, keep your guard locked, right? If he's got his guard locked, you know, I can start messing with the legs, trying to get some separation, okay? With my feet in this position, he's definitely gonna be grabbing onto my ankles, okay? Now, this changes if I have the gi to grab onto or I can lift him up off the ground or if I lift him up off the ground off the start, even with no gi. I might have a can opener or something like that. That's a different variation, all right? Most people are gonna grab your feet when you come up like this. They're gonna pinch their knees together, right? Go ahead and release your feet now. Gonna release his feet, pinch his knees together, bump his hips up and try to take me back, okay? So I need to be ready for that. So once I stand here and he goes, right, I'm gonna kick my foot forward and out and then forward and out. All right, grab my feet again. I can't pull my feet straight back. I've gotta kick up toward his head and circle. Up toward his head and circle. Now I'm in this position. Okay, another way to deal with that, grab my feet is what I call the matrix. When he goes to bump, I throw my hips aggressively forward and I'm here like this. And then I'm working my pass from there. Okay, so this time I wanna see you when you stand, I wanna see you kick and kick the back out. And then I also wanna see you throw your hips forward. And yes, the swimming in the arms is necessary because you're clearing his legs to pass. Okay, come here, Armando. <coughs> Grab my feet. Right, the swimming of the arms isn't just because I called it the matrix and I want to look cool. It's here, right? He still has his feet in my armpit, so my arms cross, right? And then I would start to smash him down from here. Okay? So kick, kick, matrix, matrix. Let's go. Good, some fancy footwork.
Okay. All right, so now we're gonna work. So we've broken the guard open. So kind of think about this sequentially, right? I'm here, I've posted, I've turned, I've stood, he's grabbed my feet, right? I've kicked, I've kicked, now I've broken the guard open, okay? Now we're gonna work a Toriando style passing drill, okay? So my hands are on his knees or ankles. If I've got a gi, I've got the gi grips about the knees, right? I'm going to step at a 45 degree angle and then turn my body. And I would normally go like knee on belly, then side control. So I'm stepping out at a 45, okay? And I'm gonna pivot. The movement with my hands is the side that I'm stepping to, right? His right leg here, I'm gonna push through and around. So when I'm doing it solo, it looks like this. I'm stepping and I'm pivoting, right? And then I would slide into my knee on belly. So I'm step, pivot, step, pivot. If you wanna add the knee on belly, you step forward at that 45, pivot, bring your back leg in, then you move, adjust your front leg. Back leg in, adjust the front. Good. All right, another popular way that we move around the legs. Once I've broken the guard and I've kicked and I've kicked, or come here with your head to the camera. Okay, now I can do this. The first one is primarily him laying on his back, right? I can do this from this position, him laying on his back, or I can do it when he's seated, okay? All I'm gonna do, usually I'm gonna be in a staggered stance here, right? I'm going to put one hand on the shoulder. Okay. I'm going to step side step out to the side and then I'm going to bring the back leg around the question mark. So I can step out to the side. Question mark. All right. So it looks like this when I'm doing it alone. I'm here. I'm in a staggered stance. Okay. If he's sitting up, I'm posting the hand on his shoulder, right? I'm gonna step out to the side and then question mark, right into knee on belly. So I'm sidestepping, question mark, knee on belly, this other foot comes up by the sh his shoulder, okay? Just one more detail, if he's laying down flat, Instead of pushing on the shoulder, I'm usually gonna throw his legs to one side. So I'm stepping and coming here. Stepping, coming here, using that question mark movement with my legs. Base. Good, okay, the final drill we're gonna do is just basic um, standing. If you want more of this, jump into our Mondo's class. He'll show you more and better than me, okay? <clears throat> but basically when I'm standing up, there's a couple different types of stances. A more square stance is gonna be a more defensive stance, right? A staggered stance is gonna be more uh, an offensive stance, 
okay? So I just want you to go move around a little bit. And I just want you to go from staggered stance, right? Maybe switching back and forth, switching your stances up, and then go into like a square stance, and then staggered stance, switching back and forth, square stance, circling, right? Stagger, stagger. Good, now we're gonna add one element, all right? When I'm in that staggered stance, I wanna keep my front hand a little low to protect this leg. Because no matter if he's shooting a single leg or a double leg, any entry he needs into my leg, he has to get this front leg to do it. Okay, he's not gonna go directly to attack the back leg primarily, right? So I want this hand low here so I can protect this leg. So I can get it in between him and I if I need to sprawl. My backhand is the hand I'm kind of reaching with, right? Maybe to control a wrist, maybe to hook his head, okay? Maybe just to see how he reacts. So I'm here in my staggered stance, the switching stance. So my hand switch, I'm reaching. I'm reaching with my rear hand, right? Maybe I'm going into my defensive stance. Most of the time, both of my hands are in there, okay? Staggered stance, reaching with that back hand. Staggered stance, reaching with that back hand. Good, keep working through those. All right, good deal. Any questions, you guys? No We're questions. Good? We're good. No good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, y'all. We'll keep it up. Okay, thank you, Lane. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.